Good morning, welcome to today's update from the bunker. It's now a Tuesday, 24th of March. It's just gone seven o'clock in the morning and uh, we're over here in France on the Moselle Valley with the Maginot Line is just behind us over there and we're on uh, on effective lockdown. <clears throat> As everybody is, and I woke up this morning to the news that the UK is also on effective lockdown. Saw a video of uh, Boris Johnson doing a very good impression of uh, being a serious politician. Didn't know if he was going to sort of jump into song and dance halfway through, but a very serious uh, announcement. And the UK now joins France and other countries over here in uh, in the mainland of Europe with an effective lockdown, and rightly so. Probably, you know, arguably, could have been done a bit sooner. But anyway, so uh, to colleagues, friends, and family over there, we're with you. We uh, we're with you on the journey, and um, yeah, hopefully you stay safe. So. It, how does this uh, effect uh, change and change people's behaviours? Will it change what we do during the, the, the lockdown and will it change the way we behave afterwards as well? And the an uplift will come, it will be over, we'll move on from this. Is getting there. But it's an interesting analogy around uh, change and something. I remember I was sat in a lecture theatre donkeys years ago when I was a young engineer down in, uh, in London and uh, some old boy was explaining about, uh, stay with me, all right? Uh, elasticity of springs and he describes a thing called Hooke's law which is about how you stretch a spring and it goes back to its normal state and all this sort of thing but interestingly the same with people what happens imagine a spring a coil spring and you sort of stretch it a little bit and then you let go it pops back into its original length you stretch it a bit further you let it go it goes back to its original length and you let it go it goes back to how it was before under medium levels of, of stretch and tension um, and the same with people a little bit of pressure and we automatically snap back to how we were before. We don't make a uh, long lasting uh, change. Now what happens with the spring, of course, if you stretch it too far and anybody with a, a slinky, remember those things you used to walk down the stairs, the slinky spring thing, it would, at some point, it would stretch and have a little kink in it. And that's called a permanent set, a permanent deformation. And what it means is that the spring has been stretched so far that it goes beyond what is called its elastic limit. And then when, when you let it go, it does go back, but not back all the way. It only goes back to a, a, pre, a, a level that is beyond its original length, its original shape, its original dimension. So what's happening right now is that for all of us, we're being stretched. We're being put into a high degree of tension, more than we've ever had before to a certain extent. Now, when this tension comes off and we can leave the bunker and go back to normal life, will we actually snap back to where we were before? Or will we have a permanent set, a change, a mindset change, behavioural change, belief change, an attitude change? Will we have do something different to either avoid this again? Or will we just realise that the way we were living, behaving before wasn't really how it should be and it was mad, it was crazy? And we come out of the bunker and when the pressure's taken off, we don't go back to where it was. We stay with a permanent positive set. Uh, that's how change can happen within uh, springs, but also people as well. So maybe we, we need this pressure. Maybe we need to go through this to make some positive changes. Certainly, the way that I'm uh, looking at it, I think we have to take it as a positive thing. And you know, we're going to come out of this. This will change. It will adapt. I know we're on lockdown for a few weeks. Um, I sense it may be longer than two weeks or three weeks. I don't know. Um, I'm not qualified to make any comments on that. But I just I sense that it's going to take a little bit longer. I think things, unfortunately, are going to get tighter or worse before they get better but look there's lots of support out there for business people for homeowners and renters a lot of support out there get the support you need and uh, you know just weather it through and batten down the hatches and lots of things going online lots of video tutorials coming out i'm going to start doing a drumming tutorial if you'd like to learn how to play the the drums i'll get the kit out just so i can get myself a bit of you know, exercise and everything else i'll do some tutorials i'm very basic i'm not the world-class drummer um, but I can take you through the basics. You want to learn how to play the drums? I'll give some tutorials on that. We're doing a Friday evening uh, wine tasting webinar. So if you want to come on that, there's a link below again here for that. And you sort of make the most of it, I think. It's it's an uncharted territory. Um, a lot of people are, will tell you they know what's going to happen, how it's going to pan out, what the results are going to be. Nobody knows. I don't think anybody knows because there's so many things going on. What we have to do, in my opinion, is stay positive, stay fit, stay healthy. And weather the storm. It's something that we're going through. We're in, you know, history is in the making. And uh, we'll look back on these days and, uh, you know, what do we do during the coronavirus outbreak? What do we do? How do we survive? How do we live? How do we do it? 
and you know these stories we'll tell our grandchildren about and that sort of thing I suppose so we've all we're all sharing the same story as well so that's it really and I think you know today we've got uh, we're busy with client calls we've got meetings set up over video here not going out and uh, I have left the truck the big the uh, Ford Expedition the biggest lump that we've got in the drive uh, that needs a wash so I'm going to give that a clean and keep me out of mischief for a while and that's going to take me about eight hours I'm going to take it really slow <laughs> and I'll get the drum kit out and do some tutorials as well so just consider that there's pressure Let's treat it as positive pressure, frightening and scary as it may be, uncertain as it may be. Remember, it's not the outcome we're scared about. We have no idea what that is. It's the uncertainty of the process we're going through. Well, we've got a little bit of control over that. Maybe not the outcome. The outcome will be, it'll be fine. We'll get through it. It'll be okay. But uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow on the uh, next daily update. Any comments, questions, thoughts, or any you know, I can help with? If you're a business owner, and you're stuck or you're struggling and you want to have a chat with me just a one-off or whatever it is a call there's no charge for it it's just i'm here to help got a bit of time in the diary let me know i jump on skype or jump on a video call if i can give you any hints tips ideas or just want to shoot the breeze and have a cup of coffee with a friendly face let me know I'm here for you let me know and i'll see you soon take care bye for now